The Grand River is the longest river in Michigan, flowing over 250 miles before emptying into Lake Michigan. The river runs through the city of Grand Rapids, which was named for the natural rapids occurring in the heart of the downtown area. Currently, five low head dams disrupt the natural flow of water over the historic rapids. The dams were originally built to support the logging industry. The removal of dams in this community is important. Right now, they're a safety hazard. Recreational users can't pass over the dam. Our goal is to restore the historic rapids to, to the Grand River, um, about a two and a half mile stretch, and really turn the city's attention, the community's attention, back to the river, um, to embrace it, to be stewards of the river, to connect with it, uh, for its environmental benefits, um, for the community benefits it can bring, and for the economic benefits too. Improving the habitat for species living in the Grand River, such as the lake sturgeon, will be one environmental benefit of the project. One of Grand Rapids Whitewater and our partners' project interests is the lake sturgeon. It's a Michigan threatened species. A number of factors have led to the decline of lake sturgeon populations in the Great Lakes. Early fishermen saw them as a nuisance that destroyed their fishing gear. This led to their widespread slaughter. Later, people began to recognize that the large fish, which can weigh up to 200 pounds, had economic value and began targeting them for their meat. Habitat loss and degradation, including the damming of waterways, which blocked the sturgeon's access to historic spawning grounds, also played a role in their decline. They are a really quite amazing fish, and they're culturally significant to some Native American tribes, some of which are involved in our project and process. In addition to some Native American tribes, a number of other partners have also joined the effort to restore the Grand River. The Urban Waters Federal Partnership Project in Grand Rapids is really an exciting project because of the number of partners we have involved. We work with Native American tribes, with federal partners, with the state partners, with local and community partners and with the city of Grand Rapids. As the Grand Rapids location works to restore the rapids, the city will move forward with its own initiative to revitalize the land adjacent to the river by building public parks along the riverbank and increasing pedestrian access to the river. Together, the urban waters and cities initiatives will help reconnect Grand Rapids residents to the river and a vibrant downtown district. So our goals are to create nature for people in an urban environment to access, to create an improved habitat, and to really turn the community into river stewards and stewards of our environment.